Hello and welcome to a game between Cloud and Sock. Cloud will be playing as the blue Terran player at the 3 o'clock position, and Sock will be playing as the red Protoss player at the 6 o'clock position. The map is Monopolis, and these two spawn locations are really, really close. We do see both players are going to be building inside their base, not so much at the ramp because the Protoss versus Terran matchup, neither player really wants the wall in because the Protoss player can bring up a Zealot to the top of the ramp or just around this location and have the Stalkers and Sentry shoot at the potential supply depot or the add-on and the barracks over here that's why a lot of players especially Terran and Protoss don't want to wall in and especially for the Protoss player because the Terran player does have a lot of range for instance the marine and marauder one of the first two units in the game will be able to knock down that gateway and pylon really really fast very very early and we do see Kyle is gonna be scouting with his SCV and he actually had this Rally point set from his command center, which is really, really good. Does save him uh, quite a bit of time as the barracks, as well as the refinery, is going to be going up. The assimilator, as well as the gateway, is going up. This is almost identical building time for both these players as they are getting into the early stage of the game. There's going to be more and more probes. It looks like he's not going to be saving too much chrono boost on his cyber core as three probes get immediately on the gas, and Cloud does the same thing with his gas line as well. We do see one barracks only, and a cyber core is going to be going down for Sock as the overall command is going to be built by his opponent, Cloud. And Cloud is also going to be trying to be a little bit pesky here. Maybe he wants to steal some mineral, maybe he just wants to dance in place. And the first Marine has spawned, and that will deter this probe from further scouting duties inside the base, as a second supply depot is also going to be built in very, very close. Some players do like to build very, very compactly around the base because this will allow them to have fewer points to guard should the game last a little bit longer because usually in longer games, it becomes really hard to guard all of your bases, but if your bases are really concentrated and close together, it becomes a little bit easier, but that's just in the long term, I believe. And we do see the second barracks is coming online momentarily, as this SCV is also going to have to run back to his base, because there's one Zealot chasing him, but he doesn't really have to, as he does have a faster speed than the Zealot, as we take a look at the jetpack on his back, as he's flying away to the... Zodaga Watchtower, the second gas is coming online at the moment for the Protoss player Sock, whereas the Terran player is not yet getting his second gas. He's focusing more on a reactor and a tech lab, probably going to be getting some marines out as he's building quite a bit of marines. Marines do very, very well against Zealots, but not particularly well against Stalkers because Stalkers are really fast and it takes quite a while for the marines to take down the Stalkers unless there's a lot of marines, which is, I think, what Cloud is going to be going for. And the probe is dancing back and forth over here while the Stalker and the Zealot might be thinking about checking the middle to see if his opponent has expanded because a lot of Terran players do like to be a little bit tricky and expand to the middle. Some Terran players even lift right off at the beginning, but it's really hard to defend unless you have a lot of bunkers and barracks at the correct locations. And of course, your opponent must not scout you within the first minute or so, otherwise your Jake is up. And the second gateway is about to be online at the moment as we see a lot of Marines on one Marauder. Water. And there's going to be one step pack being researched. If we take a look at the army size, 35 to 38, a slight advantage for, well, actually, a little bit more than a slight advantage as the Terran player does have five less probes, so he has about a 10 or so unit lead over his opponent. We will see one Reaper on the way as that factory is being constructed as well. So I thought this was going to be a very heavy infantry build, but I think he might be thinking about getting some additional stuffs as we see Sak is going to move out with one pylon. This pylon will allow him to reinforce his troops a little bit easier as he does have one pylon over here so he can warp troops in on the side as well. We do see three gateways inside the base of Sak and if we take a look at the army count right now, it's 43 to 44, a slight advantage for the Protoss player even though he has a couple of more probes. And we see about four sentries and two Zalots and three Stalkers versus a nice healthy mix of, not healthy mix, Marines. And there's going to be one SCV and one Reaper. That Reaper does survive but will be able to catch this Protoss player lightly out of position. And here they have an engagement, takes down almost this one Stalker and two very well placed force fields forcing the Terran player to fall back and this is a little miss micro of the rally point I believe there's still one SCV sitting outside and there's one 
of the Reapers. The Reaper only managed, I think, about two kills as some of the probes were able to come over and kill them off. And some additional units being warped in over here. We might see a huge battle here. The bunker will not be able to go up in time. SCV goes down. And the Marines are a little bit in trouble. Because if he pops a Guardian Shield. Ooh, he force fields the ramp. Very, very nice play there. And now the SCVs are stuck. They can't really get into battle. Ooh, they actually come in from the side. That's not the best force field. And additional Stalkers are showing up at this point. And I think... Ooh. Sock does take the game. That was a little bit surprising. I think he might have had a chance, but that was a very, very nice force feel and Gordon Shield done by Sock. Hope you guys enjoyed that game. More will be coming your way very shortly. This is G Your Face. Please subscribe if you like what you see. Also follow me on Twitter to see what's coming up next. Thanks, guys.